Now we're going to make this thing a little more complex. Now, before we had the two stage, but we did not increase the fan motor speed. I have actually seen some furnaces that were set up this way that uh, didn't increase the fan speed when they increased the amount of gas being uh, brought into the furnace. But most of them have two speeds. So I'm We've added this fan switch R2, these switches here, and this relay here. Let's see how these things are going to sequence. Now again, I've started this up in first stage. So the first stage thermostat, power passes through it, the normal closed limit energizes a gas valve in first stage. Uh, fan switch closes as the heat exchanger warms passes through the normally closed fan switch R1 and also through the normally closed fan switch R2 uh, to energize the fan in low speed. Note, this fan relay is not energized down here, so it does not change position. Now you can see uh, we have energized second stage. So the first stage is energized, the fan switch is closed, the power has also come down through W2, energize the gas valve in second stage, and it's also energized fan relay R2, the coil of fan relay R2. So up in the high voltage, the power comes through the closed fan switch, through the normally closed R1 fan switch, fan switch R2 has reversed position so it's no longer passing power to low and it passes power down through the closed contacts to energize the high speed of the fan motor. So in that way we have made the fan go to high speed in uh, second stage gas heat. Now we could set this up differently. We could have three speeds in the fan motor and uh, that makes it a little more complicated yet. But we could do that. Now you may be asking why didn't it, why did I use this other relay here? Why didn't I just energize this relay here? instead of R2. I'm going to show you another uh, diagram that shows that done. You might say when uh, uh, we energize this second stage, why don't we just go ahead and use the fan relay R1 to switch it into high speed. Let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, the power is passing through W2 to energize the second stage of gas valve. Power is passing through this red wire up here. Um, and while I'm at this, notice I did not put a dot here or a dot there. That's one of the ways a diagram can indicate that there is no connection there there has to be a little ball or dot where it makes connection. Not all diagrams do this, but some do, so I'm using it here. Okay, the power would pass up through here and energize fan relay R1. Okay, that would open fan switch R1 and close the other fan switch R1, so the power would pass through to energize the fan motor in high speed. So all of that's working. However, I want you to look at some other red wires we got around here. Once I feed power into the fan relay, it's also going to send power back to G. When it goes back to G, it, the fan is in the auto position 
and so it's going to bring power back through the thermostat and out Y and then it's going to energize the contactor. Okay, once it energizes the contactor, that closes the contactor one switch and energizes a compressor and the condenser fan motor. And that turns on the air conditioner. When I did it this way, I had what we call a back feed. The electricity went someplace I didn't expect it to go and didn't want it to go. And so that's why I can't use this this way. I can't use that relay. Now, there's other ways of doing what I did. Uh, uh, and in fact, most of the new equipment, it's all done electronically. They don't do it electrically. They have electronic circuits to do it. But uh, this is a way it can be done. And this is a way that many times it has been done. So anyway, remember, you can't just run it through that relay because... And a lot of times when we deal with electrical, things happen that we don't understand why they happen because we don't know enough about the circuit. We haven't followed it through well enough. So uh, whenever you're doing wiring like this, it pays to double check everything and follow your diagram around as much as you can to be sure as you can, uh, as much as you can, that you've done it correctly. Okay, and that's adding the uh, a high speed onto the fan motor with the second stage and the gas valve.